Hello and welcome to Ula Tea Leaf Readings. My name is Lenore and today I'm going to be reading your tea leaves. This is a horoscope for Capricorn. If Capricorn is your solar, lunar, ascendant slash rising sign, then this is a message for you. Okay, let's get started. All right, and let's see, what do these tealies have to say today? And so our card for today for this reading is the Empress. And this is a powerful, powerful archetype. Um, there is the, the intuitive wisdom of the feminine but also that strong leading position right um this is a card when i see it is it is very loving earthy motherly okay but it is also um it is the mother that makes difficult decisions sometimes you know, the one that has to say no. <laughs> the one that has to be the bad guy sometimes. Um, this is... This is also the, uh, the mother that, you know, we run to when we need to be loved. When we need to feel safe. When we need to feel like somebody else knows what to do. Like they have the answer. Okay, and it makes sense that this would be a card for Capricorn <laughs> because, um, you know, when I think of Capricorn, I think of um, people who know what they're doing, or at least they p appear to really, you know, have um, some really deep insights, but also very functional understandings of things. Okay, so... I want to look at this right here. We have a large dog. Oops, there we go. We have a large dog, and you can see the body. We can see the head. Um, the body actually looks like it has a person within it, um, which I love. That's what I love about tea leaves is that there are so many images within um, the formations. Um, but so with the, this dog, a lot of times I would say, okay, this is uh, a loyal friend, somebody close to you. Um, but in this case, because we have these lines coming out, it almost looks like um, barking, right? So I would say this is a watchdog. This is kind of that, uh, that energy uh, letting you know something is just a little bit off. Um, or maybe a lot because this is a big dog. <laughs> <laughs> They're sounding the alarm, okay? And as we turn this just a little bit, we have a person up here, okay? And it looks like they're holding um, what looks like maybe, and I'm trying to look at it closely. Oops, let me look at this closely. So it almost to me looks like a person standing pouring water. Okay, so we have a water bearer. And um, of course, this could be like an Aquarius person. This could be somebody who um, is kind of showing up with a lot of emotions into your life, right? They're showing up. They maybe have a lot of drama. They maybe are bringing some bad news. Um, they maybe just have like an aura that is, you know, puts you in a place that feels very emotional. Um, but this dog is, you know, kind of barking at this person who is coming in here with all these emotions. And so, um, you know, I feel like all of this with that Empress card, there's going to be uh, something where 
you're going to have to make a decision. It's going to be a tough decision. This is going to be a decision that has a uh, lasting effect on your life. Um, and I'm trying to see. Now, I have a turtle down here. We have a large turtle. And this is the same person right here. Um, but turn to the side. Okay. So now we have the turtle and this is in the emotional and metaphysical zone, uh, going into the physical, but mostly in the emotional. So I do feel like this is you having to make a decision about this person and their place in your life. Okay. And I believe that this is something that you have to take your time with something that you have to think over and really consider, what you want to do about it. I think that you know from the beginning, you have, you know, you want, you know, we just usually do. We have those core feelings. We have the intuition. We know what we should do. But as a Capricorn, there's a lot of contemplating. You're going to be weighing the pros and cons, thinking out all of the, you know, <laughs> cause and effect. And, um, you know, I think that it is good and it is probably, um, advised that you do take your time with it. Okay. So that you don't go back on your decision or you don't get into the decision and start to lament whatever you have decided. Okay. And, um, you know, I'm looking at this. It doesn't have to be a male energy, but gosh, it feels like a male energy, um, at least masculine energy. The foot is an anchor. Okay. Um, so I feel like this is somebody that my, my mind tells me <laughs> as I'm looking at it. It's somebody that it's almost it feels like they're kind of manipulative with the emotional stuff. Um, it seems like they come in and they lay it on thick. Almost like, um, what is that thing called? Like love bombing, right? But then when they kind of get their hooks in um, and, and you really kind of are um, in this situation, um, you know, they drop that anchor. They're not going anywhere, but they can really change. They have like a whole different vibe. Um, and I think that they're probably somebody who like ruminates a lot. They're pretty brooding, um, moody, you know, and kind of just, um, make things hard for you emotionally, maybe even domestically, um, not holding up their side of things. And now, uh, this could be romantic, but it also feels like this could be a family member, like somebody who comes around and is like trying to move in with you, um, you know, or, uh, you know, suddenly is, is like wanting to hang out all the time or calling you constantly. And every time, you know, you get into, um, an interaction, it just really, um, is very disruptive for the flow of your day and that's okay in small doses. Um, but you know, when they really get in there, uh, it can, it can really change the way that you feel about life. Okay. Um, now, now I have this eye here. Um, and I want to point out, we have a couple of twos. Now one is actually, we have two, two, two right here. Let me back that up. We have, where is it? Two, two, two. Okay. So three twos. And then we have what well, looks like a one and a five right there. Okay. Um, so we have three twos and a one and a five. Um, oh, and there's the other two right there. Seven, one, two. So I don't know what are these numbers. <laughs> they just show themselves. Um, I can't really speculate what they have to do with, but, um, yeah, so we have three twos, we have a one and a five, and then we have seven, one, two. 
Okay, so maybe write those numbers down. They might be important. Um, now we have this eye, and as I'm looking at it kind of this way, it actually looks like a face. It reminds me of, well, a Halloween mask, but it really reminds me of the green man as well. And so we have a very um, kind of hidden nature present, right? Um, I feel that there is this draw while well, all this other stuff's going on, um, there's a draw to kind of get away from some of it, go into the wilderness, detach from um, the disharmony of this other stuff, focus on um, something that is greater than you, okay? Um, you know, I think that, I think that it, you feel responsibility for some reason to this person. Um, you feel like it's your duty to kind of help them where you can. Um, and maybe that is true uh, to some degree. But um, what is also important is that you keep yourself well and balanced and, um, you know, flourishing in the ways that you can, um, the ways that you have been really. And, um, and so sometimes we do have to set those hard boundaries. Okay. And, and sometimes we just have to disengage and, um, that can seem cruel to somebody else, but ultimately, um, it is better for any relationship to disengage in the moment or for a while, um, and let things kind of, you know, settle down than to, um, let somebody back in and just be on edge and, um, putting up with that energy because it really quickly becomes resentment. And it is hard to come back from resentment. Once that really sets in, that is a difficult thing to undo. Okay, um, so go to the wilderness if you must, okay? It's calling out to you. Okay, and I'm looking at this, <laughs> and I see a snowman, um, or a snow person, and I'm thinking, is it going to snow? I'm not even allowed to say that word, because it might start here. Um, it's supposed to get pretty cold pretty soon, um, in the next couple days. Um, but I do, I think that really more than anything, there is um, this feeling of excitement about these next few months. Um, I think that, you know, you're starting to get into, uh, a little bit of those holiday, um, you know, feelings, this holiday spirit is starting to rise in you. Um, wow. We're coming into the time of Saturn soon. Um, Capricorn season is not far off either. And, um, you know, I feel that there is going to be kind of the arrival of a youthful energy in your life. Now, if there is maybe a new child being born into the family, um, maybe you will be seeing, um, you know, family members that you don't usually see. Uh, you know, something is going on where you're going to have some, some, if they're not kids, it's somebody that has a kind of, um, they seem very young, not necessarily that they're mature, but they just have that, um, that kind of beautiful, um, creative awe for life still. Right. And we all know that we, you know, you know, when you've met somebody like that, they just have such a, um, kind of a light energy, a very, um, free kind of spirit aura, and, um, you know, just, I don't know. They, they haven't really been dampened by life too much. Or if they have, you know, they don't, they don't carry it with them too, too much. So anyways, I think that that's something to look forward to as well. 
And now we're going to take a look at these uh, new cards I got. It's the Dreamers deck. These are 40 affirmation cards for pursuing your dreams. And this is from I Know Collection. All right, so I'm just gonna stop where it feels right. I haven't really looked at these um, yet. And so this one says, I know that for every door that life closes, oops, I know for every door that life closes, a new one opens around the corner. I am optimistic. Yeah, and I think that really goes along with the vibe of this reading, you know. Um, sometimes we just have to shut it down because we know we're in a cycle, right? We just get into these cycles with certain people. Um, and maybe, you know, we'll always have them in our lives, but sometimes, you know, we just gotta, we gotta take a little bit, um, of a stand back or at least, um, if we are going to engage, set some expectations and boundaries, you know, let them know what you will and will not do or put up with. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and say thank you so much for spending this time with me, Capricorn. It is always such an honor to be able to, to bring these messages to you. <laughs> I feel like I'm like um, just getting back from summer vacation. We had a couple days off and I just um, am all over the place with my words and my thoughts and oh, goodness. So anyways, um, I thank you and... Uh, if you'd be so kind as to like the video, it helps us get into the algorithm and that really helps the channel grow. Um, you know, if you, uh, have not subscribed yet, please think about doing that. You can hit the little bell. It'll let you know when the next videos are coming out. Uh, if you want to watch your other placements, you totally should. Your solar, lunar, ascendant slash rising, um, your Venus for love, your, you could do some cross watching for your loved ones. It's always fun to kind of peek in what's going on in their horoscopes. And, um, if you want to leave a comment, please do. Um, I read all of them. I absolutely look forward to, it's actually one of my favorite parts of the day. <laughs> um, reading the comments and, um, replying back to as many as I can. Um, and, uh, you know, the thing that has really made this channel something is all of you and, um, getting to know some of you, um, through the comment section and emails and, and, uh, now we have the discord channel, which you can access if you become a member, um, but getting, getting no to know you guys and, um, Finding out, you know, what resonates with you all. What are you all thinking about? What's going on in your lives? It really um, is something very special to me. Uh, it really keeps me wanting to do these readings. And um, I totally appreciate um, all of you. <laughs> I really do. So, anyways, uh, before the cat walks over and jumps up here, he's looking at me in the eye. I'm trying not to look at him because if I do, he will come right over here. <laughs> so, Pudgy says hello. And um, with that, I'll say thank you. I love you, Capricorn. We will talk again just a few days from now. See ya.